welcome back to Bangalore School of Banking in this video and the subsequent ones I'll be introducing you to the multiplication techniques then the division ones which will make your <coughs> quantitative skills quite stronger and quite enjoyable for you and these are discussions I'm starting with the multiplication techniques 5 of 5 25 11 2 9 and division of any number by 5 25 2 9 and so on these are basically the beginning stage beginning levels of multiplications multiplication of other numbers other big numbers like a triple digit to a triple digit or a double digit to a double digit the techniques are copyrighted to us and are given only in the DVDs techniques that I'm going to discuss are quite rare and the, co and the techniques that I'm going to discuss in DVDs are never found in any books or any other material here I go with the multiplication of 5 let me say <coughs> I have a number like 36 if I want to multiply this by 5 without using pen and paper how will you get it what you do is just divide this number by 2 this is 18 so just place a 0 after that this is the answer 180 so as a rule I can say divide the number by 2 place a 0 the proof of this is also simple word if you want you can learn otherwise it's fine what I'm doing is I'm just multiplying and dividing by 2 so the 5 goes off as 10 which is just a 0 this is 18 so it's basically 180 let me try with something else let me say let me make 84 into 5 so this is divided by 2 that becomes 42 here it is 420 if I'll give you a big number like 4 6 8 4 let me say 6 2 8 4 6 and if I'll tell you to divide I mean multiply it by 5 this is as simple as it is this is 2 3 4 2 3 1 4 2 3 and just a plus just place a 0 after that you must be wondering if it's a odd number 89 into 5 is there any technique of course yes but in this discussion I'm, gon I'm not gonna open everything because I do not want to introduce confusions first learn the easy things then tougher things will be easier to you then I'm coming to the division of 5 let me say 24 by 5 is how much the normal process is going like this 20 then 4 and so on what I do here just multiply this number by 2 so it becomes 48 place a decimal so the rule could be like multiply the number by 2 then place or decimal 
for example if you have let me say 48 by 5 I'm just giving you the proof of this also if you require what I'm doing is I'm multiplying and dividing by 2 so this one goes off as 10 and this upper part becomes 96 by 10 anything by 10 is just a decimal so it's 9.6 now you can tell me anything like let me say 4 by 5 it's obvious 4 into 2 is 8 plus a decimal I'm coming to multiplication of 25 how will I get 36 into 25 is how much here I go just divide this number by 4 this is 9 plus two zeros after that so the rule could be divide the number by 4 after that place two zeros proof of this is also simple 36 into 25 what am I doing is I'm multiplying and dividing by 4 so this 25 so it's a big figure becomes 100 100 is 100 multiplication is just placing two zeros after the number so here I go this is 9 so this is 900 then if you have division let me say 6 by 25 so just multiply this 6 by 4 it will become 24 place decimal before two places so what I do <coughs> this proof is also easy 6 by 25 is multiplied by 4 divided by 4 so this number 25 that is there in the denominator vanishes as 100 6 into 4 is 24 by 100 is 0 0.24 Now, you can get the multiplication of any number like 3, 6, 4, 8 into 25. What I did is divide this number by 4. So this is 9, 1, 2. So my answer is 9, 1, 2 and 2 zeros. After that, you can practice as many as questions you need for your hand to be faster. Please join me in, my, in the very next video where I am going to discuss multiplication by 11. Thanks for watching.